JD Vance appears to be lacking basic knowledge on how the US government functions. It starts with Kamala Harris being accused of stealing Donald Trump's no tax on tips proposal. Let's take a listen. And eliminate taxes on tips for service and hospitality workers. Now, wise guy JD Vance responds to this by saying, given that she runs the government, why doesn't she do it now? Now, I've never heard someone describe the vice president as being the one who runs the government, but even if he just means she is a part of the executive branch more broadly, any basic class on US government would tell you that tax policy does not originate with the executive. It is Congress that holds the power of the purse. Now, of course, the executive can propose stuff, they often do, but it technically has to start with Congress. And you know who's currently in Congress? J.D. Vance! He is a sitting senator. Now, obviously, it would be silly to say that even though J.D. Vance supports this, why doesn't he do it right now since he's in Congress? Side note, even if both Donald Trump and Kamala Harris are proposing no tax on tips, it's actually still a bad policy. We should be moving away from the tipping economy, not incentivizing it as it has many problems. We should be trying to increase real wages for service workers. It is much more dependable from an employee standpoint, and it's a much better customer experience from a consumer standpoint, at least in my opinion. Substance aside though, I think this was a very poor attempt at a diss by J.D. Vance.